And now it's time for more of Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hookup with the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock god Rick Maxa. We're having a great time talking with our buddies Ollie and Jason from fishdope.com, BD Outdoors, local knowledge, and giving away some phenomenal prizes to a couple of lucky callers. You're not kidding, man. How about that? If you didn't catch that at the beginning of the show... End of the show today, two lucky callers. He's going to win a great prize, first of which is that AFTCO Horizon Fleece Jacket. Curtis, we have friends at AFTCO, which is such an awesome jacket. Again, just like everything else, as technology advances, the clothing world is so that same way, and things are so light. It's that killer fleece, but super tight, waterproof, windproof, an awesome fleece jacket for a great lucky caller at the end of the show today. And in addition to that, another lucky caller, a full year subscription to fishdope.com. And no need to tell you about how great that is. You're going to get all of the fish dope features that we talk about all the time on the show with the, the hot bite icons. You get water temperature, weather, all the great fishing information. Just an awesome opportunity for somebody to get a full year worth of fish dope at the end of the show today. And if you want to get in on those great prizes, or better yet, your chance to talk to Ollie and Jason, 858 area code 457 1090. That's our local number, 858 457 1090. Or call us toll free, that toll free line, 877 792 1090. All right, let's go ahead and jump into those phones. You got it. Let's talk to Jim. He's calling us from National City this morning. Good morning, Jim. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Yeah, morning, guys. Happy New Year. Hey, uh, you know, I, I don't have my own boat, but I'm thinking like joining fishdope.com is going to put me in the loop. As far as uh, maybe what fishing gear, where the fish are at, uh, uh, so what do you think of that for a guy that uh, like myself that doesn't have a uh, boat? Is a good idea maybe to join? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, we we pretty much stay on top of it before the info usually gets out. You'll know, hey, I need to book a boat right now, uh, as opposed to when they start doing all their marketing and filling up. Those the boats have been filling up really really fast the past couple of years it kind of gives you just a little bit more of an edge you'll know exactly what kind of what kind of gear to use uh what the bait is and we, we that's a big thing that we do we, we call all the bait docks every day and uh get get what kind of bait they're using um so you'll be able to better prep for it it's uh I, we got quite a few guys that that don't have their own boats that are on there. And then when they okay. when their buddies that do have boats, they, they're they the ones with the info, exactly. so they always get invited. Yeah. yeah, we've had guys tell us straight out, I just buy it because I get invited more of my buddies. Yeah. Tell us, hey, whatever, dude, as long as it works for you, you know? And let's face it, I mean, you're a fisherman. There's never a time when having good information is not going to be a good thing, always. You know, just whether you're better prepared or you know when to go or you know where to send your buddy, I mean, all those things are the reason you would pull it off i mean info and timing you know that you, you know ricky's like us he when things are good we're gone gonna figure you know it out. you won't find us where we'll be out fishing and go. it really helps with that save some sick days keep a close eye on it when you see it build for a day or two get out that next day if there's any way you can swing it 169 dollars a year you get 20 bucks off using the code hookup now lowercase no space it's the best no brain you can make in fishing whether you have a boat or no boat no question about it, John. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. How about we jump back into him? This time we talk to John. He's calling us from Bonzel this morning. What's up, John? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, guys. Great show. Um, I was wondering, you, you have your plane. Do you have communications with the commercial fishermen, too, that have their own planes? The guys that we have flying for us, they are, they're swordfish uh, pilots. The, the swordfish pop during certain hours of the day. So they'll go out and they'll fish with their commercial boats and talk to the commercial boats. Uh, then they switch over, and we have buddies that are sport boats. Every once in a while, they'll get called in by them as well. Um, and it, they're they're all using the satellite dispatch, so it's, you can't even tune into them, uh, the, which makes it super exclusive for us. Uh, the rest of the time, they're flying for us. I'll, we'll kind of look at the water temps, and that they're they're very good fishermen from the air. So a lot of the times, they're telling us where to go. And it's uh, they look at the water temperatures and go follow the currents and find kelps. And it, 
they see them from so far away, and you can see something from 10 miles away and from an airplane. Such a specialized thing, too. You don't have just some guy that's rented a plane that's just looking to see if he can maybe find a kelp paddy. I mean, these are, these are fishermen, you know, and, and that's that's where they're, you know, where we're a really good, you know, private boat and sport boat fishermen are good with their eyes because they know what to look for on the water. These guys are that good from the airplane. They're, they're geeked on it, man. They'd rather be in the plane for four hours, and then they're calling and going, do we need to get in the boat now? Like, that's there's cool. so much fish. we got to go. Yeah, it's just a whole other perspective that we're so lucky to get. And one of the things that I like the most is, like, it tells us where not to fish. Sure. You know, you know when you're tuna fishing, you roll into an area with life and all that, that's where you want to be. Well, man, that thing, can, the plane's going 100, we slow it down to, like, 100 knots. It's covering water. That's so cool. You know, like, from the from the ten, bottom of the 1010 all the way to Catalina is, like, not even an hour. It's so quick to get around, and you just, you see a real macro picture really fast, and, you know, you'll find zones of kelps that are just empty and loaded with fish with nobody near them, and you had no idea that that string of kelp was even there and yeah. turn that into fish the next day, you know. It's and, pretty cool. And you, put, and you post that information on fish dope. With pictures yes, and everything, with, yeah. For the fish dope members. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's funny. He'll be like, the whole fleet missed by seven or eight or nine miles, and when you're up in the plane, you can see 10, 15 miles. You see the boats yeah, missing. Yeah, right there. There's been times we've had blowing up schools of fish a mile off the side of a, a boat trolling, and you want to scream at the guy, but... Right you're there. in the airplane, yeah, it's just right out your right window, there. and you don't see it. It's, it's funny. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up, 877-792-1090. Open right now. You want to get through, there's your chance. All right, how about we jump back in, talk to Mark. He's called us from San Diego this morning. Good morning, Mark. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, guys. How's it going this morning? What's up, Mark? Hey, I'm just uh, dragging the boat down to the bay right now, going after some halibut, but... uh Got some big changes in San Diego with this ramp closing, Coronado Islands issues, all that. But uh, I got to just thank these guys for uh, creating this forum. Um, I've been on since the beginning and uh, created a, an amazing community. Uh, really great uh, spot for not just to get the info, but to give it. And, um, you know, I held off a long time on fish dope just because I've been fishing these waters my whole life. But you know, kind of felt like it was cheating, but you know, we need every uh, every advantage we could get, and um, so I'm on it. And um, a lot of guys are that don't say they are, but I want to thank you guys for what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Won't admit it, right? That's right. Uh, you're yeah. Com- yeah, you're coming out on it for, for sure. So nice to have you be a part of the Fish Dope team. For sure. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks for following the site, Mark. We appreciate too, it. Is guys like Mark that are hardcore fishermen are such an important part of Fish Dope. Because they give information back too, and help and share, and that's it's part of that community, right? Yeah, it's it's a huge part of the community, and, and we couldn't do it without without everybody sharing. It's um, it's it's also really good for the industry. It, it really keeps everybody catching fish. If people didn't catch fish, they'd get distracted by something else, golf or golf. video games, that type of crap. Yeah. And uh, you know, fish dope to us, it, we we have viewed. You know, all the reports coming to bloody decks off of guys that don't know how to catch something. They're on fish dope, and they le- learned how to do something. And it's kind of fueling the industry, keeping it going, and, and keeping, you know, people on the fish. That keep Yeah, we've gotten there, flack so. over the years for, oh, you're selling out our hard work, or you're, you know, it, you're following the sport boats around and telling people what's going on. Anybody that reads the site knows we're not following sport boats around. We've got a network of info just from our members that's so strong. It's it's a community within kind of our BD community. These guys are sharing information with each other, and they like to see their name in the report. You know, they found this spot of fish or whatever, and we just nurture it all from commercial sources, from sport boat sources. And, you know, guys are like, oh, you're making it too easy to catch fish. You know what, man? I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> our sport went through some really, really hard times. We all remember that between the recession, high fuel prices, crappy fishing. If this gets people out fishing and catching fish, it's good for the business. It's good for a sport that's dying and being attacked here in California every day. I mean, big picture, uh, I, I, it feels good, you know, getting people out on fish and giving them a little bit of an edge that they may not have had. And I need all the help I can get when I go fishing. <laughs> Us too, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back in the phones. You got it, man. How about this time we talk to John. John this morning calls from Huntington Beach. John, good morning and welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, and my question is, uh, you talked a little bit about spotter planes. Um, have you ever considered uh, letting members go up in the plane and uh, – that's one question. And the second question is, where do you get the pilots for that? And how do you find them, and what's their experience level? 
they came to us. Uh, we oh. the the pilots they're if they're not on swordfish they're not making money, and they have oh. a, a lot of extra time on the water left over after the after they put a boat on two or three or four, and uh, so they they came to us and were like hey you know we'd like to fly for you. And then Ali actually went out and got his pilot's license as well, so we can pretty much go whenever we need. We're looking at another plane right now, just just to make it more convenient. That's uh-huh. right. But like you say, if the if the plane's up in the air, it's burning its money and its fuel and its time, and you know there's so much involved. Like once you're there, there's you know the cost is so much less. So if they can if they can earn, you know when they wouldn't be otherwise, why not? Yeah, no. And then you get the best them. guys, the best guys flying. I mean, like that's, you said, that's what you want. They're fishermen from the air. They know where to be and, and what to be looking for. It's a win-win. And those guys are up flying swordfish three, four, five days a week, and then they fly for us one or two days a week, and we get the benefit of that other info and zones. Because it, they already know where the life is. Exactly. It's a good way for them to make a few extra bucks. It's us. We get really good info, and cool. they got to be able to take those pictures, man. Everybody, those pictures of the foamers and the pictures <laughs> oh, of the right. helps and so rad. People Especially lose their mind so for those yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool, so cool. And everybody's always dreamed to see in that perspective, you know, and now you can. You yeah, so do they have extra seats on those planes? Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Everybody wants to go out with them, but it's a liability thing. We actually, oh. um, for the CCA to raise money, we donated a couple of trips and that we auctioned off. So I think the guys paid about 1500 bucks for a, a three-hour ride or whatever. And the other thing, too, is it takes a special person to sit up in an airplane for four hours yeah. in a little tiny plane out over the ocean, like, you know, I got to pee. Well, that's not really an option. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't really do that. You got to really want to Four hours, do you got no problems. <laughs> exactly. It's a roller coaster ride, too. I mean, you're you're looped up doing turns that yeah. I, I felt like curling a few times. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. There's also, they add extra fuel bladders and, and a ditch boat in the back, you know, right on top of the extra seats. No so, kidding. Yeah, yeah they, no, we take a life raft every time we go. I'm, I'm not dying in a small airplane. <laughs> that's why I do that, for sure. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning, John. All right. Here he is. He's back for the new year. <laughs> the man, Dave Hansen, your saltwater guy who does every week have our fishdope.com report, which today is sponsored in part by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook, and Gamakatsu live bait hooks are the hooks that help keep your bait alive. With the perfect bend, your bait swims harder and longer, and it helps you get bit. They also come with a super strong, solid one-piece ring. Get Gamakatsu live bait hooks at your favorite tackle store. Let's talk to the man, Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide. What's up, Dave? Well, good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Jason and Ollie, thank you for everything you've done for me, and congratulations on network television. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hopefully everybody gets a chance to see the show now. That is on network, and definitely be watching that. But, hey, guys, we're going to talk about what's going on out of the water here real quick. Been at San Clemente Island, been at Catalina through the holidays, and both islands are just polluted with that pelagic red crab. Doesn't make any sense. There's water temperatures are down in the high 50s, the low 60s, and there's pelagic red crabs everywhere. All the rockfish spots are just covered up with that red crab. I know we're not supposed to be fishing rockfish now, but same with the bass spots. They're all covered up with that red crab. We spent a few days at Catalina trying to catch squid, and Everywhere we went, you turn on the lights, and it's straight red crabs come up under the lights instantaneously. So I don't know what that means, except that it means that there's a lot of red crabs around. And then as far as the coastline goes, there's still some pretty good sculpin fishing going on. A lot of the sport boats are getting in on that sculpin fishing. There's been some quality halibut coming out of Dana Point for the halibut derby there. And then the big news is what's going on down there off Colinet. Really good yellowtail fishing again for those day-and-a-half, two-day boats that are going down there to do the combo rock cod yellowtail thing. So that's really good news for all this weather that we've been having to have that quality yellowtail fishing going on again. So like I always say, the best thing you can do is go fishing, guys. Whenever there's a break in the weather, you just got to get out there and go fishing. Yeah. How true is that, man? When the weather gives you the opportunities, you go. I mean, the, the food is here and the fish are here, and when we get the weather to go for it, man, you just – you just got to make it happen. And fishdope.com is a spot to keep it up. And uh, Dave, I know you, Mark Wish, all the guys, the top dogs out there, report on a regular basis when you're fishing to uh, the guys at fishdope.com. 20 bucks off, like we talked earlier. Hook up now, lowercase, no space, is your $20 code for a new membership to fishdope.com. How we go fishing with you? 
Well, there's a couple of different ways. I got that 65-foot Hatteras in Dana Point Harbor that we're going to drop some brand-new engines in in February, but you guys can still charter the boat up until February. And then after that, we'll be back on the water again in April. But you can also hire me to come with you on your boat, teach you how to use all those electronics you spent all that money on at Christmas to get. And I'll be more than happy to show you some spots and where to go and how to do it. If you could give me a call at 949-374-0786. And real quick, I heard Ali and Jason talking a little bit about that airplane right before I got on. There was a report from an airplane that was looking for squid that off the west end of Clemente three days ago, giant schools of that giant bluefin, nine miles off the west end of Clemente on its course towards the Tanner. Wow. How cool is it's that? It's still here. Oh, stop. Man. Yeah. That's so crazy. Pretty cool. You better go chase it. Yeah. I know a guy has yeah. got a 65-foot hatter that will yeah. show you how to use all those electronics and everything yeah. that you spend all you your really money on. Who's that? Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's, oh, my, it it's, Dave it's my saltwater guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. He's buying the fuel, yeah. too. Everybody yeah. just show up. He really yeah. will scrub the boat, too. Yeah. 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 Cheeseburgers, no problem. That's when you know the story's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Happy Dave. New Year to you. We'll talk to you next Sunday. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Jason and Ollie, for everything. See you, Dave. Love you, Dave. All right. 877 the only line open. In the building, let's go ahead and jump back on the phone. You got it, man. How about we talk to Brian, who's called us from Poway this morning. Brian, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, guys. How are you? What's up, Brian? Happy New Year's. I'd like to ask uh, Jason and Ali if they've thought about doing anything where they could expand uh, on some different recipes or menu items for all the fish we catch and have a source to go to to just try something different instead of our old recipes that we always stand by with just to get some different looks. Yeah, man, we've actually lately, we brought this guy on named Yanni. He's a kayaker here, a real hardcore kayak guy, and he's like a self-trained type of chef. He doesn't make stuff that would, I would say is like traditional, but if we, we've been posting recipes from him. Everything so far looks awesome. I haven't been around enough to cook any of it, but if you go on the site right on the top there, you can go to videos and then recipes or columns, I think, and then recipes. But uh, I think we've posted four or five from this guy just recently, and they look fantastic. And then the other good resource that we use a lot is uh, Catalina Offshore. You know, our buddy Tommy Gomes down there, they've compiled a really good selection of recipes on their website, and it's mostly local California Baja fish. So we'll go on there, and actually for BD, we even snag recipes, and we share them on BD from there from a lot of local top chefs. It's, there's some good stuff there. I think recipes is another one of those things that, you know, like I, I'm, I'm guilty of it. You know, you – you so much just associate what you guys do with the forums, and there's so much more to it than just that. And and, and recipes and fish handling and filleting. I mean, there's there's so much of it that's just part of BD Outdoors that's more than just the forums. But you know, you get you just get used to that's what you go on there and look at. And there's a lot more than that. And recipes is definitely one of them. Oh yeah, Yanni is actually going to be on Let's Talk Hookup two weeks from today. Oh well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I think his and, website's uh, fishermansbelly dot com. Fishermansbelly dot com, and uh, just super nice guy and uh, quite a quite a chef and a professional. And and it's and nothing he, fancy. He's very very willing to share his recipes. Totally, too, so totally. He's going to talk for a couple hours two weeks from today cool. on yeah. Let's Talk Hookup about preparing fish that's awesome fish and all that stuff then also on our website hookup1090.com we have the angler's table section of the website angler's table uh where we have we share some recipes from our listeners and friends and my wife some of my wife's recipes when she writes them down for me which doesn't, <laughs> doesn't cooperate sometimes but she'll write them down sometimes and there's been some really fun ones that you do on there too i've always liked it when you've had uh, like long-range chefs you know drew from the royal star would do things and right, it's always right, it's always mixed right. up and get fun the, stuff get, get the long-range guys who's some of the best chefs in the world right there sharing some of their recipes yeah. so yeah it's it's all good stuff and it's available right there so tune in check it out on bd outdoors check it out on our website and uh tune in in a couple weeks for yanni because uh, he's going to have some good insight for Very sure cool. all right thanks a lot for the call this morning kenny in hawaiian gardens you're up next on let's talk hook up hi kenny good morning kenny morning everybody morning, morning. hey um i always talk about calling it. it sounds like a lot of fun i like the rock fish and stuff uh the owners with the yellows hey uh, i don't have a passport but i'm looking forward to getting one can you give me a little uh, hint on the uh, passport cards? Uh, what am I going to do extra to get that? Pay 30 bucks. Yeah, there's just an extra checkbox on the application when I got mine. And make sure you get it because uh, if you ever do like a Puerto Vallarta trip or Cabo trip through Tijuana, that passport card will actually let you go in like the century lane if you walk back across the border. I didn't even know that it, it was good for that. 
But uh, you can, you know, sometimes that coming back at San Ysidro or walking across San Ysidro or Otay can be an hour, hour and a half. Not even, anymore. Like two minutes, yeah. And then there's the border crossing yeah. deal as well. So you've yeah, got some really good express. options. And I know you guys know that drill with Valeris, but, dude, you booked that at the right time. I've done Cabo round trip for like 85 bucks. Wow. You can literally go for the weekend, you know. Yeah. And sometimes we get Puerto Vallarta 180 direct. They still have free beer on the on the plane and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, like it's a, it is a great deal, brand new airplanes. It's really hard to beat for a lot of that Mexico travel. The other thing the passport card's so great at too is just taking it along with you when you're on a fishing trip. Keep it in your wallet. Always yeah. have it. Just yeah. keep it in your wallet and it's there and you don't need to worry about forgetting your passport or losing your passport or something like that. But just get them both. Like mm-hmm. you say, check the box, thirty bucks extra. It's good for I believe the passport is good for ten years. I believe the card's good for. I don't. Yeah, I think it's the, 10, yeah, I think it's the same. I don't know, but it's a no-brainer when you renew your passport for sure. And I think you can even add it on after the fact as well. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it's just you got to have it. The whole Mexico needing a passport thing is not going away. And I mean, you're just limiting yourself every day that you don't have it. You're limiting yourself to a bite happening and you not being able to take advantage of it. Yep. There you January go. Yellow tail. Indeed. Yeah. How about that? Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls. If you want to get through a great opportunity, it's been a very busy morning, and we have an open phone line on the toll free number 877-792-1090. We got more Let's Talk hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090. The San Diego Bay Bass Tournament is Saturday, January 21st, and Dana Landing in Mission Bay wants to help you get ready with a great sail and seminar on Saturday, January 14th. It all starts with a live Let's Talk hookup broadcast at 7 with saltwater bass expert Benny Florentino, followed by the ultimate panel discussion next door at Bass Lane Kayaks with Benny Florentino, Afrin Abutin, Corey Sannon, and Jimmy Decker. Learn the best techniques for catching the big fish in the bay. Traeger Grills will be serving free pulled pork sandwiches and corn Tornado Brewing will have free beer samples. Plus, almost everything will be on sale at Dana Landing. We are talking big discounts on the tackle you need from all the top manufacturers, and several manufacturer representatives will be on hand to answer your questions. Sign up for CCA at the Dana Landing event and receive a $40 gift card free. It's like getting a free membership. It's one day only, Saturday, January 14th, and only at Dana Landing, right across from SeaWorld next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check out DanaLanding.com for more details. Hey, the Los Angeles Boat Show has moved to a new location. It's now at the Fairplex in Pomona, conveniently reached by all points of Southern California. It's coming up January 19th to the 22nd. You can see the latest models of marine gear, the newest models, boats, tech gadget, accessories. It's all there. There's going to be great things for the kids like face painting and more. And it's Thursday and Friday at noon to 9 p.m., Saturday at 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it's good long hours there. It's Sunday, 10 to 6. Admission's just $15 and lots of discounts. Check it out at the Fairplex in Pomona, January 19th to the 22nd, the LA Fish For East Cape Fishing, Jen Wren is known as the best. This is Mark Rayer. Great service, top quality equipment, including all accurate reels, CalStar rods, and Seabrand Electronics, has put my immaculately maintained twin-engine cruisers in a class of their own. For memories of a lifetime, just bring your hat and sunglasses, and we'll provide a fishing experience that will exceed your expectations. Our calendar's filling fast, so don't miss out. For packages, two live webcams, a weekly fishery report, and more, check out TeamGenWren.com. We pick up at all East Cape Resorts. So let's go fishing. Buying a boat is a big decision, and you don't want to make a costly mistake with the wrong one. This is Pete Giacalone for Custler Yachts. I've been in the fishing business my whole life. In fact, there are probably many of you out there that have fished with me. Well, now I've taken my boating knowledge and joined the team at Custler Yachts. Mike Custler and the rest of our team are true professionals when it comes to finding you the right boat. Just ask Pete Gray. I helped him make the right decision on his new boat after an extensive search, and we can help you find the boat of your dreams. We specialize in sport fishing boats and are the exclusive dealer for Regulator Marine, the finest center consoles on the market. At Custler Yachts, we know fishing and we know boats, inside and out. We can save you thousands of dollars and get you into the right fishing boat for your needs and budget. Custler Yachts is located on the waterfront at the beautiful Konakai Resort, and you can check us out on our website at CustlerYachts.com. That's K-U-S-L-E-R Yachts.com. Or give us a call at 1-866-607-5471. Ask for Pete, and let me know you heard about it on Let's Talk Hookup. 
This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. A spring eight day, summer five day, or a fly down fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. This is Ron from Fast Lane Kayaking in Mission Bay. When it comes to Hobie kayaks and kayak fishing, nobody does it better than my guys at Fast Lane. Our massive 5,500 square foot location is loaded with Hobie hands-free Mirage Drive kayaks. Plus, we've got salty gear clothing and lots of fishing accessories for kayaks. What makes our location special is we offer free demo rides. You can come down and try before you buy. Take a new Hobie Eclipse out on the water mirage drive kayak or stand-up paddleboard we want you to find your fun on the water a family owned and operated for almost four decades at dana landing across from sea world on mission bay check out fastlanekayaking.com XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. The best coverage of the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 51 is right here. Incredible! San Diego sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phones have been packed all show. Like we said, if you want to get through a great opportunity right now, 858 area code 457. 1090, not only your chance to talk to the boys, but also your shot at winning that awesome Aftco Horizon Fleece and a one-year subscription to FishDope.com. Yeah, pretty good couple of prizes here for one lucky caller, two lucky callers today. You heard the lovely Chelsea talking about the big event coming up this Saturday at Dana Landing. Uh, Dana Landing's going to have the pre-San Diego Bay Bass Tournament uh, seminar, seminar yeah. and sale with all kinds of great sale. I mean, stuff that, like Rick said yesterday, stuff that shouldn't be on sale right now. They're putting it on sale. The other big thing that they're doing, which is great, uh, you know, Ali and I are both on the uh, on the board of directors for CCA California, Coastal Conservation Association of California. Uh, $40 gift card to either ECBT, East County Bait and Tackle, or Dana Landing for just for joining CCA so at, cool. or renewing your membership for Coastal Conservation Association of California at the event. Cost you 30 bucks to renew or join, and you get a $40 gift card that you can spend uh, at another time at either East County Bait and Tackle or Dana Landing. No brainer. Steve's yeah. giving everybody 10 bucks because it's that big of a deal. It's that yeah. important for you to sign up. You're and a free, a free membership. To I, I think that's just the coolest thing. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, Way we appreciate Steve. Steve. That's cool. He's, he's, you can always count on that guy for yeah. that kind of stuff. That's, that's awesome. So come on down. Join us. We'll be broadcasting live 7 to 9 a.m. Uh, Benny Florentino, what a great guest. Great guy. Of course, we'll have a lot of other fun stuff going on, too. There'll be a lot of exhibits and and you can check out a lot of different things going on. I'm going to need that renewal because we're going to El Salto, Steve and I, and I need to go to East County Bait and Tackle to load up on all that gear. Like, oh, it's been yeah. driving me crazy. Like, our, you know, the house, garage, whatever, it's got so much gear in it from fishing forever. And then I, you know, going on this El Salto trip, there's so much stuff that I need that I don't have. And, uh, you know, between researching tackle and everything else, like East County Bait and Tackle has been my been my spot for a Those while. Those guys know so you're good. going on that trip with Cast Tours and, yeah. and Ricky and Steven. The guys at ECBT know, have been there, and they know what to take. There's one thing that I know about fishing and fishing tackle, and it's if you don't know it, which I don't. I don't know that freshwater game like those guys. Go to some place that does. That's the most important thing. And those kids that work in East County Bait and Tackle, like, live and breathe that. And that's the first thing I do as I walk. I'm like, I got no idea, but hook me up. And, you know, I want to I want to pay for, you know, the gear because I need that knowledge. And that's what those guys have. It's awesome. Such a good shop. There it is, for sure. 877-792-1090. Open right now. You want to get through, there is your chance. Don in Woodland Hills, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Thanks for joining us, Don. Hey, guys. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Um, for the BD guys, what are what are some of the, the challenges that you've gone through over the last years that, you know, for those of us that use your products, would be interested in hearing as far as, Developing the technologies, expanding out on the web, getting your sources, anything that you think would be of interest to us. Keeping up with the uh, latest trends with software, and especially with mobile phones nowadays, just keeping up with that. And uh, I mean, Hackers. Yeah, oh hackers God. have been really? a nightmare. Yeah. 
we, we like to keep everything custom for everybody and, and make it super easy for them to post and do things like that. And it's just that some of the plugins that are written are written poorly and the hackers find their way in and we got to basically hire a company to come in, rewrite the whole thing so it's secure. And it takes months at a time. We wow. get hacked for months at a time. It's really frustrating. I'm shocked to hear that. That's oh, crazy. It's, dude, it's everyday battle. And they're not – we don't have any credit card information to steal. We yeah. don't have anybody's personal information. Hey, there's no – it's just to take your site down. And it's not It's not like somebody, you know, in California that hates us. It's like Russian hacker. I mean, just you get these attacks. You. Yeah, all the time. And so, like, our, our site now, we've changed to, like, a cloud model where instead of being on one server, it's on 100 all over the web. And even still, like half of your sites get knocked down, and then he, Jason's got to rebuild it. Or we've got this whole team of guys now, basically, that we pay just to be on standby when we break something or it gets hacked. It's, it's like it's three to four a grand a month just just on hackers, on hackers. Just, just combating hackers, just having guys stand by and take care of that. That's no, so lame. It's a that's pain. so Think lame. About that kind of stuff. That, that's a side important. of that's a side of the members that think that they're speaking for our company. And just going out and kind of being a nuisance. <laughs> and then we get the flack from that from the industry and other people. Sure. Yeah, and we police a large community. You know, that's always a huge challenge. A lot of these guys we do business with, and you get somebody on there that's got an axe to grind with a particular brand or whatever, and, you know, ripping ripping them a new one and all that. If it's a legitimate concern, and, and the guys that have been on there know that, we leave it. Like, if, you know, if somebody got bad service or whatever, that's one thing. But, you know, you just, it's all. We have 700,000 unique visitors a month. Trying to police that at times, especially like high traffic times, is, you know, it's it's a lot to do. And, and, yeah, we've got just a sea of volunteers that basically help us keep an eye on stuff. And other than that, it's just us and, you know, a handful of employees. The the Bloody Dex forums has definitely changed over the years, but it always cracked me up because in the beginning I thought the same thing. It was, like, it was just like this group of just some of the – and it wasn't even the group. It was just the few outspoken dudes that were just like the craziest outlandish guys. And, you know, back in the old days, like, BD was associated with that way more. And then I met Jason Ali, like, two, like, normal fishing, just very regular dudes. And, you know, you just never have that – you know, you, you just never know what the – the guys behind something are until you meet them and and it's been it's been cool to watch the evolution go from it was just a source for you know to almost to not be policed you know to get to speak your mind because everything else so controlled to then all of a sudden it became where everybody was at then it became this amazing information source and then it became a con it's just it's been really cool to watch the evolution happen yeah we've tried to grow with it you know and as things have changed we've tried to change with it like back in the day there was no facebook so forums were the only way to talk to other guys that really like to fish you know, we're crazy about fishing. Like, we're not average, want to do it once in a while, a couple trips a year, guys. And it's hard to find other guys like that, you know, that speak the same language as you and all that. And then, yeah, it's just it's just evolved like anything else. We've tried to stay ahead of things. And, and it's, a, it's a big community for sure. And staying on top of it is, is a full-time job. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Bart Hall. Good morning, Bart. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Good morning Rick. Rick. How's everybody? Excellent. Happy New Year to you, Bart. Nice to hear from you. Hi. Happy New Year to you, too. And I'm just sitting here. You've inspired me. I'm, you know, I listen every week, and I don't call in. But I was just thinking how nice, how lucky we are to have the fishing we have here, to have BD Outdoors have their headquarters here, to have the best fishing radio show in the world based here. We're all very lucky, and it's great to listen to you. That's all I'm calling for. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's Thanks, awesome. Bart. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, we need, you know we're talking about cooking there and uh, having Yanni on in a couple of weeks there. We need to get Bart to send some of his recipes because yeah. he's quite the chef but, too. Well, you know, I have beaten Scott Lacey twice in publicly judged competition. <laughs> oh yeah, well done. I, I don't I don't let him forget that. You know, Scott Lacey, the sporting chef by the at the Sporting Chef Cafe. But uh, yeah, well, your wife's a pretty good cook too. Her recipes will be are just fine. Yeah, she is. We just we I was telling these guys we did the whole rock cod again last night, and I've got to get her to write down that recipe. It's a it's a Thai coconut uh, sauce, really easy to do with the whole rock cod, and oh my gosh, it's just this time of the year it's to die for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bug her a little bit more and get it, get 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 it up there on our uh, anglers table. I ate some Breros oh. last night, so anytime you want to call me Sombreros, up for whole yeah. rock cod, like <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously. down for yeah. sure, no problem. And we'll I, I yeah, I know where you're at. No no worries, man. my phone is always on. Bart, how's the show progress going? Well, you know, we added a new show in Bakersfield, which was uh, perfect for a guy who's 70 years old. You know, it's just what I need. <laughs> uh, and and uh, 
it's it's caused us a lot of work, but it's absolutely going great. Bakersfield is entirely sold out. Uh, Long Beach is way ahead of where it's ever been. Del Mar is way ahead ahead of what's ever it's ever been. So we're uh, we're pretty excited. Uh, we're in the office today, Mike and I. You know, but of course, uh, of course yeah. But it's uh, it's great. It's very fulfilling. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm glad to see the uh, tackle industry rebounding and doing well. And the, and the, that report earlier about the bluefin off offshore, you know, all this is great, great news. And I think we're going to have another wonderful year. I'm with you. Yeah, let's have yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I can't sure. believe that you know um, that you and your partner Duncan McIntosh. I mean, you guys just keep on taking more stuff. Like Duncan took on the L.A. Boat Show at the Fairplex in Pomona. There, it's like, man, you guys, you guys just keep going. Well, the, the nice thing is he gets to do all that stuff. We're still the Fred Hall shows are big enough and complex enough that we keep doing that. Yeah. But I think that moving the LA boat show to Pomona was a very good idea. It's good for the boat dealers. You know, the boat dealers got killed in California during the recession. Eighty percent of the boat dealers went out of business during that time. Yeah. So the guys who are left are just now beginning to recover. The last year to half. So they they need these boat shows. They need a good boat show. I think it's going to be a good thing out there in Pomona. And of course, the Fred Hall show. We're we're already sold out of boat space. I I, um, I, I there's a couple guys, one of your friends I know who wants to get in, and I don't know what I'm going to do because I have no place to put anything. Now. Oh boy, okay, no problems well, to have. Yeah, that's a good problem. But uh, we're looking forward to. It. I, I can't believe March first. It's just around March the corner. March first to the fifth, and then the following weekend we're in Bakersfield. Unbelievable! Oh it's like six yeah. weeks from now. I know. <laughs> It's That's not even possible. On like, the verge right now. Bart, nice to hear from you, and uh, just uh, have a good glass of wine tonight and just relax. Uh, well, Happy New Year to everybody. Okay. I just wanted to tell you what a great show it was. Thanks, Thanks Bart. Bart. Appreciate Bart's that. Here, nice to hear from you for sure. Let's go ahead and jump back into those phones, Rick. You got it, man. They're jam-packed. Again, if you want to get through, 858-457-1090. Let's talk to Bruce calling us from Lemon Grove this morning. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, guys. My, my only question is, uh, how much does it cost to get fist built? First time user, you use the uh, hook up now coupon. You get twenty bucks off. Ends up one forty nine. So how does that work? You're gone fish dope. You go to fishdope dot com and you see a little box code box, right? Yeah, it says coupon code. Yeah. You, you type in hook up now, all lowercase, all together, right there. And if you're very first time in, your your first subscription, you get twenty bucks off. And if you have any issues or anything, just email Ollie or Jason, and and they'll make yeah, we'll sure take care of you. Yeah. Taken care of. It's easy. Yeah, it's and and it's last 365 days. You have 724 access 365. Yeah, days. we don't do that DFW stuff. The <laughs> we don't do calendar here. It's, it's from when you start instant 365 days till the minute that you exit. Yeah, indeed. That's right. Get on it. Check it out. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up eight seven seven. 792-1090 open right now. All right. How about we jump in? Talk to Mike, who's calling us from Carpinteria this morning. Hey, Mike, welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah, good morning. I just wanted to tell you, or anglers in Southern California, I know that up here in Santa Barbara area, they're not very familiar with trigger fish. And a couple of days ago, a uh, boat caught a tr- small trigger fish, and it was alive, and he went to put it in a live tank, uh, and he was paddling, and it bit him. <laughs> and their teeth jump out like a like, like an angel shark, which we're very familiar with. You know, they don't go up and down like a human. They come out and grab you, and they clamp on. Mm. And they clamped onto his finger, and it wouldn't let go. And so the captain came out and stabbed it with a knife, and that didn't work. And they ended up having to cut his head off and prying the jaws open to get it off his finger, which was pretty badly <laughs> wild. mutilated. So... Uh, if you you know if you uh, happen to catch one in Southern California and you're not familiar with the way they act, you better be careful because you can be uh, you know I shred at the end of his finger. Boy, that's a good tip. They if you, yeah they're they're they have that nasty. It's almost like a, a single tooth, right? It's a beak. Yeah, it's yeah. A beak. Yeah. yeah. If you've ever thrown a plast a rubber swim bait anywhere in Baja and turned the <laughs> handle more than three times and it can you know it comes back with four just like perfect half moon bites out of it, you could imagine that it wouldn't feel good if it was clamped onto the end Ooh, of your finger. And they won't let fish go. your mackerel and your mackerel gets a little <laughs> yeah, tired exactly. and it's death by a million little bites. It's <laughs> yeah. got to be the worst way to go ever. Oh man. They're mean little buggers. They are. 
No, no doubt. Hey, thanks for that tip. Appreciate the call this morning. We have a couple of them in the uh, aquarium at the uh, tackle store. You know, and we always feed. We get grouper and trigger fish in there. And we always feed them chovies, and those things are voracious. Like, yeah. and they're small. You know, the ones we have are like the size of the palm of your hand or something. Just like they are. Right. No stop, and they don't. They're never full. It doesn't matter how many chovies you. We have grouper and trigger fish. Like it doesn't matter how much bait you put into that tank. They, there's not a time when the they decide to stop eating. Eat. Oh, saltwater yeah. piranhas. Yeah, no matter what. Saltwater yeah, they are, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they are. Hey, look who's on the line, Captain Frank Lopresti. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Great. Great. Happy New Year to you. And happy New Year to you. Just a quick report on a couple things there. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of uh, the yellowtail fishing at Colonnet. Just letting you know that. Uh, uh, next weekend, the Liberty is on schedule again and uh, running down there to get into some of that good yellowtail fishing. He's wide open uh, for next week. And then also talking to Roy last night, pretty tough scratching at Hurricane Bank. I believe his first day he had eight fish. The next day he had uh, 13 fish, and they were up to about 215 pounds. He left uh, Hurricane yesterday to go fish the buffer zone at Clarion. And should get there about noon today. And that's our, that's my report, Pete. Okay. Hey, hey, Frank, you want to know how good that colonet yellowtail fishing is at on the Liberty? Carl Schmidt called in this yeah. morning and actually caught yellowtail on that tri- <laughs> on that trip. That's how good that fishing is. My God, they had to be pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that's a good opportunity. I know. Uh, the guy, I know the guys on the on the Pacific Queen are trying to get out tonight for another one, but uh, definitely a go next Friday night. The Liberty out of Fisherman's Landing. You can book it right online, and it's going to be great. What weather. great news too! And just to hear that the fish are of that quality and biting so well, that it just it bodes so well for our upcoming season. Those calling up trips are so much fun. Yes, they are, and it's just uh, God. We're we're lucky to live where we live. When you think about what's going on up north, I mean, I realize they're getting a lot of water. We, we, which we could use, but I got to tell you, I just came from up there, and it is cold. <laughs> oh, good it is. Yeah, lots of water and cold. Well, Captain Frank Lopresti, nice to hear from you, and uh, appreciate the the report this morning. Thank you very much. All See right. you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, they're supposed to get, like, Northern California is supposed to get, like, 16 inches of rain or something. This they were saying Mammoth was going to get, like, total in the last, in the, in the last week 20 feet 20. of snow possible. They got four feet last night. Okay. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. I'll take a night. I'll take a more expensive water bill any time and just have sunshine and yellowtail yeah. all winter long. <laughs> period. Like I got no problem. Yeah, That's what I got to pay for. Well, man. and then what's going to happen in the spring? It's going to be floods oh, and all that. Yeah. You know, mudslides. But yeah, we'll take it. Whatever. Yeah, good one. I'll clean sure. up the mud. <laughs> I, want, I want yellowtail and sunshine always. I'm all fine. right. Let's try and sneak in a couple more calls. You here. got it. How about this one? We talked to John. He's calling us from San Diego this morning. What's up, John? Good morning. Hey. Good morning, guys. Uh, I wanted to figure out from the bloody deckers how do you guys determine whether a story is legit or not on on fish dope or on bloody decks uh f- fish dope on fish some dope of the reports you get a lot of them we uh we just verify we know people that know people and we, we call around if something's out of left field uh, show us some show us some photos show us your plotter that's about it. It's it's pretty easy to filter out. The Most of the guys we there. know, mm-hmm. you know, you know who's reliable, just like your circle of friends, and who's not. And if it comes from a reliable source, you can trust it, you know. And you get something a little out of left field, yeah, then you start, I think, start making some phone calls. That's what I think is so good about your guys' information is I think that pretty much any time I've ever gone on there, you know, you can always trust it. And and I don't think. And one thing that I di- very much dislike is people that put like. An opinion on there, like, well, it's my assumption that it's out here, you know. And it's always, it's always good info from a guy that you can own, you can trust. And I'm sure that you probably had really cool things that you wanted to post because it would be really cool, but have probably just sat on it because you know you're not gonna, you're not gonna send somebody to left field just in case. Yeah, there's, there's sometimes where people are like, oh, the Dorado are biting and no photo or anything, and you know we're not gonna send people out. Or my buddy look. killed him here. You yeah. know that's not it. Like it's got to be firsthand. Yeah, it's got to be someone you trust, or it just. But the airplane will reroute the next day and go look, and usually it's like, no, I don't see anything. That's it's a happen. desert. And 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 the same thing, you know, you get a report that you well, I wasn't able to verify it that day, but we sent the plane down the next day, and sure enough, there's kelps and there's Dorado, and boom, the next morning it's up on the morning update, and here's your lat longs, here's exactly where those line of kelp started, and here's where they finished, and that's just how it works, and that's what you're paying for. Yeah, that's experience for sure. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right, next up, let's talk to Doug. He's calling us from Montebello this morning. Good morning, Doug. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah, I was wondering, do you guys cover the uh, surf fishing area as well, or just straight offshore? 
No, we're inshore and offshore, uh, private boat. you got to have a boat. It, it really doesn't work for, for kayaks. Uh, we, we look at big picture stuff and, and big bites. It's, uh, There's other kayak forums and such. Yeah, like you that. can do they kayak forums. And, and surf fishing forums. It, that's a, such like a small community. Surf.com, you know, yeah. Bill Barnet, yeah, for it's sure. Just that stuff's so spot dependent again. Like, we're real cautious about that. We don't give out anybody's rock cod numbers. You know, if it's a little tiny sea bass bite, we won't post it because we don't want 50 boats in there wiping it out. It's more the big picture. This area is biting. You know, offshore especially will give you exact numbers for where the fish were caught yesterday, and then makes it pretty easy to figure it out from there. That's one of those things. If a spot is so small like that, it, it does you no good either way. You know, if you if, if if there's 50 boats on it, nobody catches it. If there's five boats on it, they're all going to catch their thing. And, you know, if, it, it does you no good to put it up there just because it wouldn't it wouldn't do you any good if everybody was there regardless. And you're going to get a bunch of people that are just disappointed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got to be sustainable and more macro than that, you know. Yeah. We'll, but like I said, if it's offshore stuff, exact GPS numbers, no problem. And then a lot of what you'll see on there is this area, this technique, this area, sure. this technique. Not, you know, going to dial you right into the rock. Yeah, for sure. I love it. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Weiner. Speaking of, of Bill Varney, the sport fishing calendar is available at tackle stores all over the place. And you want to get your new sport fishing calendar. Did an excellent job with that. And you can win through a Coastal Conservation Association of California, CCA Cal. Uh, on the back, every calendar is numbered, and we're going to be st- they're starting to announce uh, the third week in January and the third week of every month uh, winners from those calendars. So get your calendar. Have a great uh, thing to look at the tides and uh, good photos and information uh, about fishing and win and all are benefiting uh, Coastal Conservation Association of California. I also want to mention, too, pick up this week's edition of Western Outdoor News, always loaded with fantastic information, lots of good stuff in Western Outdoor News this week to start the new year right. So check that out, Western right. Outdoor News. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out who's got themselves a one-year membership to Fish Dope as well as that awesome AFCO Horizon Fleece Jacket. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Want to catch the yellowfin tuna of a lifetime but don't have weeks at a time to commit trying? Then check out Journeyman Sport Fishing in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Based in Nuevo Vallarta, Journeyman offers an angling dream come true. Outstanding world-class fishery, immaculately maintained and outfitted boat, ultra-limited competition at the rail, and a Journeyman crew that has the experience and passion to make your angling dreams reality. A two-and-one-half-day trip offers two full days of fishing from sunup to sundown and only requires four days away from from your other commitments. In the 2013 season, Journeyman landed dozens of yellowfin, over 200 pounds, and several over 300. Choose the trip that fits your schedule. Two and one half, three and one half, up to eight days of the ultimate fishing for giant yellowfin tuna. For complete details, check the web at journeymansportfishing.com or contact 619-571-1979. Journeyman Sport Fishing, where angling dreams become reality. Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. Com. That's S N A P P I N S dot com. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three quarter, and full day trips available. Check out the full service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen 1717 Quivera Road just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay book online at seaforthlanding.com this is Captain Art Taylor I'd like to invite you aboard Searcher for your next fishing vacation enjoy our air conditioned cabins and galley new improved bay tank RSW system to preserve your catch delicious food prepared by chefs Charlie and Dan and a fantastic crew our 2017 schedule is available now Book your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia at 619-226-2403. 
That's 619-226-2403. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit Seaguar.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, the big winner of the AFCO Horizon Fleece Jacket. Thanks to our buddies up at AFCO. It's going to Mark in San Diego and one-year membership to FishDope.com. John, also in San Diego. Congratulations, guys. You're going to be stoked. All right. You're really, really happy. And thank you, guys, Ali and Jason. Yeah, uh, FishDope.com, awesome, BD Outdoors, a local knowledge. Uh, Thanks for all your support. Let's talk hookup. Thanks for all you do for the fishing community. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having yeah, us in, guys. Thanks. Always yeah. good to catch awesome. up. Yep. Yeah. Fishdope.com, right, Jason? Yep. And sign up with that code, hookup now, lowercase, no space. <laughs> yep. If you have trouble, let me know. 20 bucks off. And, of course, BD Outdoors, easy to find, lots of great articles. And how do we find Local Knowledge? Great TV show. Uh, LocalKnowledgeTV.com. And then also, that's something I didn't, didn't say, is we've made it available now through a bunch of apps. So you can get it on Amazon Prime if you've got Prime cool. on any device. You can we've got apps for Fire TV, Roku, really Samsung smart TVs. You can watch it all on demand. iOS, you can watch it on your iPad, whatever. Just go to your favorite app store, look up local knowledge. You can get full episodes, all of our little trailers. Everything is there for free. Wow. Sweet, fantastic. Yeah, cool deal. That's good news. All right, keep up the great work and uh, Blue Seas Fabrication. Of course, we'll see them down there next Saturday at Dana Landing. Looking forward to seeing Ken and the gang down there. And looking forward to having you back next Saturday, live from Dana Landing on Mission Bay with Captain Benny Florentino. Come on down. It's going to be a great event. And then next Sunday, the once-a-year engagement that the president of Shimano American has, Dave Pfeiffer, will be right here in the Mighty 1090 studio with us. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next week right back here on the Mighty 1090.